The good news about colon cancer, I believe at all stages, is that it's treatable. And certainly for the earlier stages, the intervention can be curative. The most significant change in the last three years has been the number of drugs and drug combinations that are available for treating advanced colorectal cancer. The next most immediate thing is trying to figure out which patients are, are most likely to benefit from that therapy, what sequence of therapies should be utilized to achieve the maximum outcome. We now have a, an appreciation that we need to carry out more molecular assessments of the tumor to understand if, it's, if a given therapy is likely to be beneficial. I think clinical trials for the patient holds uh, several advantages. There's a, typically a research nurse, there's the physician, there may be an additional clinic nurse, and so the number of eyes looking at the patient and the attention that's given to the patient for signs and symptoms that may be related to the drug therapy, I think is, is an advantage. The other potential advantage is the therapy, a patient may have an opportunity to get a therapy that would otherwise not be available outside of the clinical uh, trial. And those are oftentimes promising therapies. Probably the most important clinical trial that's ongoing is a, is a national effort. In that particular study, the tumor is being analyzed for two molecular markers which may confer a higher risk of recurrence. And if a patient is found to have one or both markers, those patients are offered uh, therapy which might provide a, a, an advantage in decreasing their likelihood of recurrence. In terms of getting a patient enrolled on a clinical trial, typically we identify the patient as a candidate for the clinical trial on the basis of stage, whether they've had prior therapy, and we discuss the clinical trial with the patient, pointing out some of the obvious potential advantages, as well as, in some cases, the disadvantages, if there are any, uh, to participating in the trial. For early stage cancer, where we think treatment is, is indicated, those patients would receive therapy for approximately six months, and then we would observe them for at least three to five years to make sure that uh, cancer doesn't recur. It's in the setting of metastatic disease where the therapy would go on potentially for as long as a patient's responding to therapy. I think that with where we are in our understanding of the causes of colorectal cancer, and certainly with where we are in terms of the therapeutic approaches, it's a, it's a time of, of great hope and promise that as we continue to move forward, we'll be able to make even greater strides in outcomes with colorectal cancer and actually have therapies that are likely to be curative in some cases and potentially uh, result, but, but certainly result in longer uh, survival. And as we begin to understand who's likely to benefit most from therapeutics, we can hopefully reduce the side effect profile so that patients, in addition to living longer, can experience and enjoy a high quality of life.